Today we're gonna start with a history lesson, or how something small and insignificant can change the automotive history forever. The year is 1940, and it's a hard time to be a German car manufacturer. It is the beginning of the World War II, and Adolf Hitler knows that the exact thing the Germany needs is small, affordable, simple cars to be mass-produced for the country's new road network. So he chose the leading engineer Ferdinand Porsche and his team, the influence of Porsche design and other cars, such as Tatra V570, is easily recognizable. The result was the first Volkswagen and one of the first rear-engine cars since the brass era. With 21.5 million produced, the Beetle is the longest running and most manufactured car of a single platform ever made. And now, almost 80 years later, we have it on our hands. And we are staggered, because this car is amazing. We are impressed by some of the mad solutions that are used to create this piece of automotive history. For example, this is one of the first cars with Solex carburetor. The spare tire, which is located under the front hood, is designed with three different functions. First of all, of course, it's a spare tire, but that's not all, it's located exactly there, because it's designed to take an absorber hit. And if you think that's not clever enough, if you look closer, you can see one small hose which gives pressure from the spare tire to the windshield fluid reservoir. And this is quite clever, isn't it?
If you like this video, subscribe to Touring Car Show channel. And thanks for watching.